Hello everybody, welcome back to Vroom Vroom Zoom. This is the final video uh, updating the Commodore Sportswagon VE 2011 timing chain issue that I was having and it's been a few months now since I sold the Commodore. I'm going to wrap up this series on the timing chain saga <laughs> that's been going on with my uh, VE Sport Wagon. So, look, a quick little summary if you haven't seen my other videos. The VE is, was, you know, such a great workhorse. Uh, I initially bought it for a business I was doing. I, was, I had a painting business that I was doing and it was, it was great. Um, very, very rock solid, um, really good car um, for the time, you know, nice on the road, comfortable, awesome seats, really enjoyed the car. It had a problem though of the timing chain issue that plagues, seems to plague the VE Commodores and I've now heard that apparently some VFs also have the timing chain stretching problem. Uh, a lot of you have been able to solve the issue by getting the update from the dealership, from a Holden dealership where they uh, just the tolerances that the computer will start to set off the um, the uh, engine error on the dashboard. So timing chain actually was not the reason why I ended up trading it in. What had happened was earlier, a few months earlier, a couple of times the car had um, been running on low water. You may have seen the video where I show you how to burp the uh, cooling system on the VE Commodore. So before that happened, the car had overheated a few times and somewhere along the line, it has started to use some water. So that's not a good sign at all. Uh, so in essence, I am to blame for not attending to the issue sooner rather than later, but it's got nothing to do with the timing chain. It was all about the uh, cooling system so basically every three days I had to top it up and I, it wasn't there's no leaks so uh, it, it wasn't that so I'm assuming it was maybe going through the engine or uh, I don't know it was just water was disappearing out of the system somehow a bit of a mystery and it will remain a mystery so at the end the car had 264,000 kilometers before I traded it in so the error code, uh, throwing that error, has been happening since about 160, 170, and then like intermittently, and then basically from about 200, 205,000 Ks, something like that, it had been constantly on the whole time. Uh, as soon as I turned the car on, the error would uh, pop up on the screen, on the um, instruments, and it would not disappear. So that is where we were. So. I've had a couple of you ask me some questions whether the VEs are a good buy, whether they, uh, you know, they're starting to be a little bit older now. You're looking at cars that are around that 10 to 14 years old. I would say factoring that the timing chain might go, which is about a $2,500 replacement cost for you if you are going to hold on to that car. So let's say, I don't know, for, for my car, I reckon. One that's running in good condition, I reckon probably around four or $5,000 for just a base model. That's gonna be a reasonable amount to pay, I suppose, for a VE uh, that is you know, nearing 11, 12 years old. Um, I probably wouldn't pay too much more than that for an Amiga. But then you've got, uh, you know, the, the SV6s and the, uh, you know, just go up and up and up in terms of the models um, after that, and you get more and more options. So you may, you know, make a little bit more for something a bit nicer, but for a base model, I wouldn't pay any more than sort of around that $5,000 mark. If the error happens and you need the timing chain fixed, that's another th two and a half. So you're looking at six and a half, seven, seven and a half, eight thousand dollars for a car that's, apart from that, is probably gonna be bulletproof um, and, you know, just eat up the Ks, no worries at all. That brings to an end my time with the VE Commodores, both of ours are gone. And now I am in my i30 
which I'm really enjoying and my wife now has a Camrys um, Ascent Sport which is very nice and I'm a little bit jealous because it, it's a, it's an all like having driven the Commodores moving to a Camry that Camry is just beautiful oh, just, whoop, just so refined and beautiful to drive so um, yeah it's gonna be interesting to see oh that's no good oh that's it that's my car in a crash bugger this exact car in a crash into a pole if you're asking me and you're looking for a replacement for your Commodore you don't mind a, a drop in power a little bit but want all the modern things basically almost everything it doesn't have lane centering it has lane avoidance you know um, that stuff it doesn't have lane centering apart from that but that's that's a, it's a great car so if you really are looking for something that's going to replace you if you're looking for something to replace your Commodore then definitely consider the Camry anyway enough about that okay so thank you for standing till the end and I'll see you in the next video bye